Prowse the either makes you laugh or cry. Who wants to say you cry? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do you want to laugh or cry, Bill? I don't mind, mate. I sit down I, there, mate. I, I'm actually uh, when I'm crying, I'm actually laughing, and when I'm laughing, I'm laughing too. Okay. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I'm not a real mo uh, social media person, and uh, I thought you were going to say you're not a real social person. Well, no, I'm not that either. <laughs> Anyway, my, my wife put uh, one of my palms up on the face, my face thing, you know, my, the Facebook thing. And guess how many views it's had? 700,000. I'm not making that up, right? Anyway, um, uh, because of Anzac Day coming around, I had probably the best thing I've written is an Anzac poem. And uh, well, unfortunately, it worked uh, last... Um, last quattro night, so I, I didn't have the opportunity to come and do it. So I thought I'd do it tonight, if you don't mind. Um, my wife uh, put that one up on uh, on the uh, Facebook thing, and it's had uh, it's only had 65,000 views. So, um, yeah, well, that's what I, I said to me, so I'm a bit disappointed it hasn't done very well. And he said, you dickhead, most people would kill to get 65,000 views. I went, oh, really? I thought everyone got 700,000. He said, no, you dickhead. <coughs> Um, so this is to make Bill cry. If you don't cry, I'll be really disappointed. Uh, during the First World War, Australia shipped 160,000 horses overseas. Only one came home. I call this, what happened to the horses? I read the poster on the wall. It said, now be a man. Come and join the light horse and do the best you can. The war was on in Europe and all those foreign lands. But I went off to Egypt to fight in desert sands. I was jackarooing round Western Queensland way. I came into town with cattle, though I wasn't supposed to stay, but I signed up then and there and went off to Brisbane town. A chance to see the world, they said. I shouldn't let them down. We only trained for five short months to teach us how to march. For we could ride and shoot and fight, or except for Pommy Arch. I'd never seen the sea before. I really couldn't swim. Now here we were aboarding ships. We did it on a whim. The trip to Cairo was so long it bored us all to tears. And up the Great Red Sea we sailed, it seemed to take us years. We disembarked and went to camp. Oh, we saw the pyramids. We found our land legs and our gear, and were pestered by the kids. First job I had was pick a horse, but I had no idea. This bond we'd have between us that would grow from year to year. Bill was nothing much to look at. He stood round 15 hands. He was tough and strong, good-natured, and we had a trust without demand. The light horse trained us for a while in this barren land, we got used to heat and flies and burning desert sand. Then our turn came for battle. We were ready for this stunt. We attacked the Turks at Jiffa Bore with me and Billy at the front. The fight was on in earnest now, but lots of us were downed. Man and horse together died there on foreign ground. Then the Turks attacked the sewers, Britain's archery to the east, but we repel those beggars as we hurried their retreat. Out on patrol, in the Sinai, searching for our foe, we were ambushed by the Mongols, and the sergeant said, let's go. Half our troop had lost their lives, and many horses too. But me and Billy got away, his speed had got us through. Then looking back, I saw two men running hard on foot. I turned my mountain roading back through sand and smoke and soot. The sergeant said, now, just take one. But I couldn't leave him there. One mile with three men on his back. Bill Gallop, nostrils flared. We were sent to take Boyashiba and rode for two full days. Horses went without their water in this dry, hot desert haze. I shared with Bill the little that I had. This pommy officer that saw me thought that I was mad. 
The charge to be a Sheba was a four-mile desert plain. We light horse rode in hard and fast, giving horses all the rein. We raced beneath the big guns and past machine gun nests. We took the town and water, cause our horses were the best. Another year of fighting and the war was won. I look forward to going home far from this desert sun. Then we were told the news that burnt deep into my mind that all the horses and my bill would have to stay behind. Uh, we'll sell them to the locals. I heard some generals say, my bill stay with these jibbos, <laughs> not if I get my way. The light horse ranks rebelled at this, so this idea was dropped, for we knew the locals' cruelty and that it could not be stopped. So the horses that were young and fit to India would go. The rest would stay and be put down. But how I didn't know. Special squads to shoot our mounts came round to where we sat. But I said, I'll do the job myself. At least I win that. So I took my bill to an olive grove and I let him have a graze and we spoke of all our battles and good mates we'd left in graves. We spoke for many hours till me mates came in to say, to, let the squad boys do it. But I told them, go away. Then I looked my best friend in the eye and he seemed to know the time had come to say goodbye, that it was time to go. I took my rifle from the ground to bring this to an end. And with trembling hands and tearful eyes, I shot my greatest friend. Pastor. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Prousty, ladies and gentlemen. Se uh, uh, only 65,000 hits. Oh, that's pretty weak. I, I get about, what, what have I got on my videos? Got like a thousand or one. Okay. How do you do it? <laughs> Good on you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a short break, and uh, um, I'm going over to hit him behind the ear for making me cry again. And uh, we'll be back with some more guests. Don't go away.